Stanislaw here with Motion VFX, and in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use the new M Transition Distortion Pack. Inside Final Cut Pro 10, click the Transitions tab, then click M Transition Distortion. There's 50 different transitions to choose from, all ranging in different distortion effects. To preview any of the distortions, just hover over it with your mouse cursor. When you're ready to place a transition, drag and drop it in between or at the end of clips. To retime any transitions, just drag the edge handle. If you run into an issue where it won't drag any further, double click to open the precision editor. This will give you a view to see how much media you have to use your transition. Once you've made your adjustments, just double click inside the middle of the transition again to close the precision editor. Try different transitions by dragging and dropping to replace them. All of the transitions in M Transition Distortion have further controls inside the inspector. Click this icon to show the inspector controls and any available controls for your selected transition. I find it's easiest to move my playhead inside the transition to make any adjustments to the look and style and then preview. Let's take a look at another situation. If I drag and drop this in between these clips, I get an error that there's not enough media beyond the clip edges. I can either create the transition, but that will shorten my duration, so I'll undo that. Instead, I need to shorten my duration of my clips. If I'm hitting this red line, that means there's no more media available. Now if I drag and drop a transition, it should work. I'll open that precision editor again. Here you can see where the transition will overlap, and I need to have media beyond that to cover the transition. So if you run into issues, double check and make sure you have the media to cover the amount of time in your transition. Because there's a variety of different transitions inside M Transition Distortion, each of the different transitions will have unique controls, meaning that some of them may have more checkboxes and sliders than others. It's really easy to get some very interesting looks using these different kinds of transitions. There's a lot of different digital distortion and movements that are included with these, and I really enjoyed this pack. Depending on the power of your machine, some of these transitions may require rendering to play back in real time. To render your timeline, press Control shift r Transitions can also be used at the beginning or end of clips. So that's a quick breakdown on how to use the new M Transition Distortion Pack from Motion VFX. My name is Stanislaw Robert Liberta. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.